because I have a bar exam question for you. I don't know if it's on a bar exam, but it's it's a legal thing that I know enough about to write a fake bar exam question. Oh. Okay. This is a homebrew bar exam Yes, yeah, homebrew bar exam question. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Alexander, a film producer, developed, wrote, and sourced talent for a movie based on a work within the public domain. Okay. In, in the summer, Alexander and his crew shot the movie. The talent and crew was paid for their work. And while the movie was being edited, the talent and production staff promoted and advertised the film as normal which was set to, de to debut in the spring of next year. Mm -hmm. However, on opening night at the Anytown Ohio Filmatorium, uh, <laughs> the cast and crew <laughs> was shocked to find that the movie ended in the middle of the script, oh. and a trailer was played for a sequel to the film, which consisted oh. of the other half of the script. You tell me he wrote a movie for the Bible too? <laughs> and what, three? <laughs> uh... A trailer was played for the sequel to the film, which had been, which was the other half of the script, which had already been shot. Okay. It was revealed that Alexander had his editors split the film into two in order uh -huh. to make two films for one budget. Kill Bill Damn. situation. The cast and crew took Alexander to court, stating that if two movies were being uh -huh. released, they should be paid again for the use of their labor and image in the second film. Mm-hmm. Alexander argued that he already paid the cast and crew for their work, and since they had already agreed to do that amount of work for the original amount of pay, he should not have to pay them a second time for work already completed. Mm -hmm. How did the court rule? A. In favor of Alexander, stating that as the cast and crew had already accepted a set amount of pay they deemed fair, it was within Alexander's right as the producer and financier of the film to use or not use the footage as he pleased, and this included editing and cutting footage, as none of the cast or crew had any right to final cut, as, in the, as written in their original contracts. Mm -hmm. B. Against Alexander, saying that it was not legal for him to mislead the cast and crew on his intention for the finished product, and in order to release the film, Alexander would have to pay all cast and crew their wages equal to the wages of the first film for the second film. Mm -hmm. C. Against Alexander, stating that the performance of the actors and their likenesses from the first film would be unfairly used as marketing, either intentional or not, for the film, and Alexander could only market and release the film if the entire cast and talent was paid equal wages to that of the first film, and all talent was billed identically to how they were in the first film. Mm. However, the crew would not need to be paid a second time, as most crew are paid on a per day basis as a day rate, and the amount of work and number of shooting days the crew had done was equal to the amount of work required to shoot the film, whether it was two movies or one. Okay. And D, hold on, yeah. and D, D, against Alexander, stating that the performance of the actors and the overall quality of the first film would be unfairly used as marketing, same thing, and people would naturally expect the same level of quality in both the acting as well as the visual style of the film, and <laughs> Alexander could only market and release the film if the principal cast was paid equal wages to that of the first film. However, any talent not in the principal cast, so that would be stuff like extras, mm -hmm. very small bit parts, yeah. uh, would not have to be paid again, as the court could not assume with any reason that the acting presence of minor parts or extras would draw audience to see a sequel film. Additionally, the set designers and any artists that work on the film would have to be paid a royalty, as the studio did not own the permanent rights to their designs, as was the case with other films such as The Magnificent Ambersons, in which the studio maintained the set as a permanent structure. That's it. Mm. Uh, I know that Alexander yeah, I gets was, fucked. I was, um, I was confident in C, but now maybe D. I think the fact that you listed a specific example in D is what's really swaying me. <laughs> um, yeah, dang. But it, gonna... it's it's the thing where like 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 extras it's a it's a you get it's a day pay like you're not. Yeah. But also and I know that <sighs> extras also don't even have to be contracted at least. Yeah. It's depending depending on the film like mm -hmm. sometimes extras yes, yes. Put, you put, don't it, sign. You don't need contract. to be in SAG to be an extra. Yeah. yeah. Uh put, put 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 me down for D. Yeah, I'll say D as well. Uh, well okay, let's pick a three for D then. 
Shit, the answer, the answer is C! Mother F God Ooh. damn it! All talent, so that's actors, like directors, and stuff, uh -huh. yada yada. All got paid again, but crew, like camera operators, PA, you get it, were not paid a second time. Uh, Alexander Salkind was the producer behind 1973's The Three Musketeers, who was forced to pay all of the talent, including ex including extras and minor roles, twice for their work in order to release the film The Four Musketeers. The wow. scene. To this day, in all film and television contracts, there is something colloquial call coll colloquially called a Salkind clause, which protects talent against exactly this, stating that unless the terms... Uh, were agreed upon, such as you're being paid this much for an entire season, as opposed to per episode. Um, if any additional piece of content is made without your without your permission, with your performance, you must be paid an equal and additional time. Hmm. Cr uh, crew that are not paid by day rate, i.e. like if you're a camera person that works for the company, Paramount or whatever the fuck, you are also protected by this, but if you are anyone that's protected by a day rate, so now, nowadays an extra does not get this, but back in the day, in that instance they did. So like PAs and extras get fucked, but everybody else is, is safe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh. Very That's cool, Chris. Cool. Yeah. So wait, well, I, thank I, you. I didn't realize that was based off of a real story. Yeah. yeah. Alexander Salkin, he's a real shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's also he is a very interesting person. He's the reason Superman's popular in the United States. Well, as a TV, TV franchise. Hmm. Say so chat, pop off. Uh, that was great. Chris showing up and yeah. giving you a bar exam question. Come on. Come on. Boom. Uh, all right, well, folks, let's let's return to the court. Jay, Jay did it. Mr. Jay did it. <laughs> Mr. J. J. Wow. <laughs> Mr. J. I mean, when you, someone says Mr. J, yeah, you have to yeah, say yeah. It, yeah. Like, yeah. Huh? Mr. Wright's not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Fuck off! He got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> His car injury's acting up. Old injury? He was all smiles yesterday! Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine. As long as you're there, true. As long as you're there, Trucy! <sighs> yes! <laughs> that was good. Fine! We'll be fine! Here comes justice! I started my voice training at 5 this morning. Ooh, do some now. I want to see. Er, here. Huh? Oh. Okay! <clears throat> My name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! <laughs> I'm doing great! <laughs> did I peek my microphone when I did that? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That sounds more like a self-mantra than voice trading. I'm fine! I'm fine! You know what I am saying? Oh, hey. Uh, good morning! Yo, his shirt's so good I didn't notice it before. It's incredible, uh, It's so good! Is that Chow? It's the Blue Badger, <laughs> It kinda Chris. looks like Chow. Right, yeah, it is the Blue Badger, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, sup? Yo, hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I care. Yo, he's got $10 underpants. <laughs> <laughs> you just hang loose and let things go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not really? Sorry, I don't speak jive. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, don't be running your mouth like that in here. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. Walkie says A cab. <laughs> real G's can't keep real till they spend some hard time in the pen. You have absolutely no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. That line underneath big that's winds so is good. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they've been voice training too, Apollo. Worst fears realized. The trial's starting, and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. <laughs> and it's this guy. <laughs> oh shit! I guess we did see him again. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kitaki. <laughs> The defense is ready, Your Honor! 
Ready to rock and roll, Herr Judge. Ah, it's him, the pr guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor. I know that she was gonna say the prince, but it makes because of us. I'm like the bridge guy from yesterday. <laughs> the the bridge, bridge guy. From yesterday. <laughs> He's a lawyer. It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Uh, were you taking a leave of absence? You know that little band I started in my free time? Thing is, we got real popular. Hard to say nine to your fans with three of your singles go platinum, yeah? That's insane. I, I see. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I was a, a little concerned. To have three platinum singles... And to in just like be like, year? yeah, I'm gonna come back to court yeah. now. They, they're, they're yeah, what the, what the fuck are you, are you doing in a courtroom, you hire, dumbass? Hire How old another you lawyer to, to destroy the man who destroyed your brother. You don't need to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Zach, you can't outsource that, you know? It's, yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to find someone who has the passion. <laughs> I fear that you might still be distraught over that one trial. You mean the incident? That one trial? Oh. The incident? The incident. Not to worry, Herr Judge. I wouldn't miss this day in court for the world. It's worth even more than VIP passes to one of my concerts, yeah? How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? Fuck. <laughs> it was worth cancelling a show or two. Understood. You may give your opening statements to the court. Before that, I was thinking, is the air in this courtroom not a bit uh, serious? It is a court of law. <laughs> That's no way to get the crowd jumping here, Judge. They're not supposed <laughs> to jump. This is a courtroom. That's awesome. tongue, baby! Today we play it my way! Yo, that's fucking radical. <laughs> no, you play it the judge's way! <laughs> Chris, this is your first time, so I'll forgive you. But that's not Get how out. this game works. <laughs> Come here, fight the judge now. Shirt's off. What's that noise? Sometimes you have to get on in get on up in order to get down to prosecuting. <laughs> This is crazy. Also, I fucking love his theme song. It's, it's really banging, good. yeah. Yo, Palmaractus! Why do you look like that? Because <laughs> he's a he's a victim, so we never get to see him, so he just looks like a okay. dude. <laughs> so we, we only drew his fucking head. Yeah. Fuck the rest of him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The victim, Palmaractus, director of the Maractus Clinic. Sorry, I just thought of the it's his face and then the draw the rest of the horse meme. <laughs> <laughs> the scene, People Park. He was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Yes, I believe. You will only find that out by asking the defendant right here, right now. Because it's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean, undeniable? If you are to glare at anyone here, Justice, glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. Please admit this witness to the court. That's fucking awesome. Yes! Ah, that that's was my favorite fucking sprite in all. By of far, the most detailed animation this franchise was, has done at this point. It was very impressive. But yeah. I did want the judge, the judge to be like, "That's nothing." <laughs> what? Nobody Do heard anything. <laughs> there was no sound that was produced by you doing that. I like to think he has like a little thing that he's hitting to trigger the sounds. He's got a little button. It's in his ring. Nine! Not yet. First, 
They're a little matter to be cleared, to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? <laughs> I swear I could see the guitar for a second. Uh, what is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Herr Judge. What did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Maractis Clinic? Objection! Not so fast! The defendant doesn't have to explain that! Oh? But what did the defendant specifically request to do so, as he did this morning? I want to give a shout out to all my homies, I believe he said. <laughs> what? <laughs> Judge got them coke eyes, for real. <sighs> what is right? What is right? Yeah, okay. They always say that on stage, you should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. You know, like a car. <laughs> <laughs> Into a father. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the car to my dad. <laughs> Sounds like he got you good, huh, Polly? Baby, you're the car to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is highly unusual, but the court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. So, you, son, are the defendant. Walkie, are you? Also, I have a real quick question about judges and ace attorney. Sure. Is it always They're the same? Dumb. Is it always the same dude or the ninety-five percent like of the this? time? There have only been three whole judges. Four. No, no, sorry. Whole judges. The entire. It all. All through all five games we have played. I think believe there have been four judges. Yeah. Sorry. What I'm what I'm asking is, is this judge the same motherfucker, or does every judge? Yes. Like, is, are there all judges look like this man, or this is one no, dude, his name is Bill? The same, no, he's the same, same dude. Guy. Okay. Yeah. Um, he yeah, said this is highly grandpa. unusual. Motherfucker, do you see your franchise? <laughs> <laughs> he has, he, listen, he has really bad long-term memory loss. <laughs> long-term and Look, short-term he, memory Chris, loss. This is Wes's grandpa, so please mm -hmm. be please be yeah, polite. Be respectful. Oh, I'm, hey, I'm familiar. I tried to catch up on all this attorney today. <laughs> God bless you. All of it? Like not actually, just this, just this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, he I, did. Okay, he hey, did. Hey, hey, hey! I watched the full Let's Play of the first game. Chris really? Did a, Chris, yeah. Chris did a Clockwork Orange and wow. taped his eyes open and subjected <clears throat> himself to all of it. You want to know how much gak? You want to know how much gak I watched? Uh, none. Like six minutes. Oh, right, so did, you, did you just take a pull on a vape pen before you said yeah. that? Yeah, that's fine. It's legal here. <laughs> you literally said, you want to know how much gack I watched? You know what? <laughs> I'll show you what my six minutes, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I ain't your son, old man. I ain't your old man, youngin. <laughs> I ain't your youngin, old guy. <laughs> You step to a Kataki, you best be ready to step strong. You step to a public official, you'd best be prepared to step into jail. You gotta hand it to him. Waki God, what a dumb name. Sure has guts. <laughs> it's not his guts I'm worried about. It's his butts. It's his nuts. <laughs> oh, that, that's D way better. These nuts. <laughs> well then, the court will now hear testimony on the defendant's motive. From the defendant himself. It's very weird that we're not uh, getting like a, de a detective to tell us like the general facts before we... Yeah, that's pretty much what we, uh, what we always start with is... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good point. <clears throat> His truth. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker! Okay, I don't care if he was white or not, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That's good. <laughs> Someone had to show him what's what. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up, messed up my op something bad. 
And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. So I gotta go in, get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I done figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why I went to his pad that night, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't his pad, that was a park in which he was pushing a fucking cart around that didn't belong to him! <laughs> he lives there! In the cart! <laughs> You're saying you were one of the victim's patients? A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the streets, true that! That's not an answer! No. <laughs> i tell you one thing, the, the doc was whack! Hmm... Very well. Uh, the defense may begin the cross-examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this! <laughs> uh, let me read a couple of donations really Sorry. quick. Sorry! They didn't let me take a shit in jail. <laughs> he really has to. He really has to poop. I gotta go so <laughs> fucking bad. Uh, uh, the Platinum Girls gets it a dollar, saying, "Let's just say we're not single anymore." Very good. Uh, Paul Moore gets it a dollar, saying he got the prototype invisible guitar. Also, bonus points if you can actually figure out the reference in my name, Paul Moore. I do not know. I think you stumped us, Paul. How's it spelled? Like Peter Moore? M M O M O O R E. O O R E, yeah. Like Peter Griffin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Mail Link gets it a dollar saying, question to Pritch, is it possible that the defendant can do that, contacting the prosecutor behind his own, own attorney's back and making deals with him? Um. So you're not supposed to talk to the opposing counsel's party without the opposing counsel present. Hmm. I don't know if that means you would need to reject their them call. Like you can't initiate the call. Hmm. I don't know if that means if they initiate a call to you, you're obligated to like not respond or if you can. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> uh, In this instance though, like with a a defendant who's claiming to be guilty, like is the defense even like can't can't they just say that's it? Like, do, well, once again, this is the nonsense situation. If you're claiming to be guilty, you just change your plea to guilty, and that ends everything. Right, but yeah. uh, assuming he's not allowed to because he's a minor, is he a minor? Why? I don't how, think why, so. else, why else is his uh, dad? We, we, we haven't checked his thing yet, but I don't think he's a minor. Oh, okay, I don't know that. Yeah, I think I think he's over he's over eighteen for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, then he's just an idiot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Eggert Benedict gifted a dollar saying, Am I finally off the hook for the dumbest name in Ace Attorney? I don't know. Eggert Benedict no. is still no. pretty bad. It never. Yeah, it, it, it's all in the first name, really. But it, mm. like, the fact that that's also an Eggs Benedict way. pun. Yeah. Uh, and Leia gifted two Canadian dollars saying, Actually, Clavier is canonically humming the riff. Huh. Okay. Or should I say? Wow. Hmm. His hum sounds like a fucking electric guitar. Yeah, really How good. does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find let's find out uh, Waki Kataki's truth. I'll tell you one thing: the doctor was a quacker. <clears throat> Someone had to show him what's what. It's. Let's go the words. See you later. Bye. I've gotta go. See you later. Bye. Catch me up again. That was the day I done figured out the movie. This is an extremely long cross examination, yeah. actually. I went to his pad. I mean, I don't know if we have a thing to be like. That wasn't. I his mean, pad. we're 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 gonna have to. I mean, we're. I guess I mean, it's true that, that like that is that, a contradiction because that's yeah that it was Mr. L. Yeah, that's not that's noodle. true. I guess I guess yeah, that's not his pad. The noodle stand is definitely not just, his pad. Should we just go for a present on this? Yeah. Who, fuck? Right. Who does in fact give a fuck? No. Oh, fuck off, game. Yeah, evidence clearly reveals some bullshit. We're gonna get yelled at. How exactly are the evidence of the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Not at all. Mr. Justice, please think the fact over before making accusations. Okay. Uh. We need to check the noodle stand first. Maybe that is what we have to do. 
Apollo, Mr. Eldoon spelled his name backwards on this side. Um, I think it says Noodle. As in Eldoon's Noodles. Oh, I get it. So the name of his story is the same whether you read it forward or backwards. Yeah, that that reminds me of my old friend, Glenn Elg. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last S. Then, how about a store called Team Meat? Uh, close, but that we be Tame Mate backwards. <laughs> and we're not in Australia. Time, Time mate! mate. <laughs> <laughs> Can't spell team without meat. <laughs> Why, a store that sells meat. It's not meat unless it's team meat. That's what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh-huh. Good one, Juicy. I think that's the only thing we can examine on this. Uh, so. check, the, check the bottom. Maybe he keeps porno underneath there. No, good guess. You can also look at the top. Keeps uh, porno up there. Soup! <laughs> Nah, it's hidden in the soup barrel. Okay, well, I guess we gotta start pressing shit then. Um, I'm gonna press this one, too. You went to his pad? Did you have an appointment to meet with the victim? In the park, perhaps? You out of your mind? Who makes an appointment to drop on someone? I came ready to fight my way into that clinic is. Shortest way to the clinic from my place through that park, you know what I'm saying? He's right. That does seem to be his shortest path. Yeah, I was. Cold walking through the park. You were, you were cold or you were cold walking? What's the difference? When he comes popping up out of nowhere, right, right before my eyes. I think it's someone up on high was looking out for me, you know what I'm saying? My main man, Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> this sounds bad right from the get-go. Well, there won't be any get go and if we don't get some more if we don't get go see, this would have been clever. Yeah. Well there won't be any get go if we don't go get some more information. Yeah, you're hundred yes. percent yeah. right. How did they how did they not write that? What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> Guys, come on. Put bridge on Shoot. the localization. Shoot. Team. Hire me. Right. First, gather the facts. Time time enough for despair later. <clears throat> oh, the ultra despair girls! Shocker was a quacker, show them what's <laughs> what. Uh, let's learn about your op a year ago. Uh, press. And, and to, because a million people said it already, yeah, it do feel, just because we, we, we read this series in so much of like a queer writing thing, it do feel like a trans thing to me, but sure. Yes, the, 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 he, Op in general is uh -huh. not used in that connotation unless you're talking about like post op or mm -hmm. like you know whatever. Um, or unless, unless you're talking about ops in like a rap sense, but I don't think that they no. wrote that in whatever the fuck year this is. So you were a patient at the Maractus Clinic half a year ago. For what reason? I had what you might call a mark of honor. God, man, the subtext is really strong, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little uh, run-in with the Rivales family. That's when I uh, <laughs> pulled. That's when I pulled a Jack move. Oh, that's what I do on. But Tuesdays. I can only do it on Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go into another man's place, you take your pants off, you do a Jack move, <laughs> <laughs> and then you shoot him with your gun. <laughs> And ran into an ambush. G busted a cap right into me. <laughs> that very well-dressed G. <laughs> According to my sources, you couldn't stand the stress of waiting. And ran in 15 minutes before you had the appointed time. By yourself. 
Hey, I was more than a match for those guys. So you were carried to the Maractus Clinic from there. Apparently, he was shot in the heart. Who is to blame? And you're to blame? But you're to blame! Shot in the heart and he's still alive? Why is everybody around me incapable of dying? <laughs> am, am I incapable of dying? <laughs> Apollo, no! I can catch bullets between my teeth! <laughs> which is a really fucking weird ass thing to just state! She's hopped up on cocaine! It's what do you a, want? It's an old magician trick. Oh no, that's not a magician thing. I, I'm just strong enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like most small females in this game, I have incredibly Insane magical abilities. Human ability. I wrestle crocodiles on the frequent. <laughs> oh, so I don't know what to drink yeah. there. No, I'm not good, Zach. Oh, that, was a, that was a mistake. No. Okay? I'm, that was a mistake by me, and I'm sorry. And I own up to it. <laughs> Guys, this is my apology video. <laughs> I refuse to apologize or settle. I'm sorry. But I never learned how to catch them with my heart. The ball stop just thought of my thumper, you know what I'm saying? I would've been golden if it weren't for that whack doc! Can't even take out a stupid bullet! <laughs> so, as you say, the surgery was a failure. That ain't all of it, Holmes! <laughs> oh, it's a different game. No shit, Sherlock. So sorry, Waki <laughs> had a surgery on their chest. And mm -hmm. they're referring to it as an op. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you mean he just let you go without a word? What, what do you mean, what do you mean? It's whack, that's what. I'm not Paul. sure what that means, <laughs> but it sounds bad. It sounds as though Herr Doctor wished to hide his mistake. This is why he let the defendant go. He's a liar! Boy is a liar! Straight up! He's a better G than me! Boy's a liar. Boy's a liar. Fucking also <laughs> Remy Haynes in the chat says they took Walkie's pepperonis, which really gets me. <laughs> it's really good! <laughs> They took his pepperonis! <laughs> there was certainly a, a sausage involved. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, I got another doctor. So, this bullet is still... You, you know it, I can still feel it! <clears throat> right there in my chest, pressing up against my heart! Poison arrow into the heart. <laughs> no, fine. Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart. Or something to that effect. Incidentally, that's from one of our hit singles. <laughs> they did miss out on him not having like CDs to show off. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's selling them at the court. CDs nuts. Got him. Well, Got that sounds like a straightforward case of malpractice. Oh, I get his name now. No, <laughs> not this. Would J-Man? Jason's here? Went no accident. That's for shizzle. <laughs> they <laughs> I don't think for shizzle was even a thing people said when this game came out. No, because it's like a 50-year-old Japanese man writing it, and then a 40-year-old white man translating it. <laughs> it's the worst possible oh, scenario. Oh, shizzle. Oh. Uh, for shizzle, indeed. Hmm. It seems that there were issues with this doctor. Man, putting him down was doing the world a favor. Wonky, as I your lawyer, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I shouldn't go to jail for this. Wait, hold on, fuck. Wonky, <laughs> please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. Chin up, Apollo. Back straight. Face down, ass up. <laughs> that, that's the way I like to handle that one. <laughs> But why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. Every spring. The family checkup? 
That was the wackest thing of all. All his G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that <laughs> all shit. His, all his G's lining up, pulling our pants down. <laughs> Turning Peter our heads comes. and coughing. <laughs> Pee in whatever way. You ain't, you ain't a G until some old guy feels your nuts and you turn your head and cough. <laughs> But then they say you ter- you're a real G once you get some kind of prostate exam. I don't know about that yet, though. <laughs> I think my dad's had one, but... Rocky, how could you do this to me? I'm, Rocky, I got so many cotton balls in my mouth. <laughs> Rocky, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm talking like this. Oh, uh, Prince, you should have came back with a Marlon Brando voice. <laughs> <laughs> The dentist can do that, right? They can just like flip a switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in the back of your throat. They flip the Brando switch. <laughs> the Brando switch. What do you got? Uh, better die young than fade away, bizoy. <laughs> a relief to hear. Uh, what's a relief? Oh. Right, um, do you want to tell the little chat what the, the dad said because it got fucked? This is what the dad said. No, there was a line before this. Oh, well then I don't fucking know it. It was at the... <laughs> uh, if... <laughs> hey chat, it's me, your favorite guy. Um, it, it was that if the bullet isn't removed very, uh, almost immediately, ellipses, it could kill you, ellipses. Yeah. It could kill you. <gasps> what?! Yes. That's bad, right? Herr <laughs> Dr. Maractis had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Also, isn't this straight up Iron Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like metal moving towards his heart? Do we need to give Walkie an arc reactor? Walkie could talk, oh, he built shit. this in a cave with a box of scraps! Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we got a Hulk, see? <laughs> uh, knowledge that could have saved your life. No, no way! That's whacked! I mean whacked! I mean whacked! <laughs> There's proof! Your checkup report. Okay. Wow, this is our first checkup report. We've had autopsy reports, but never a checkup mm-hmm. report. How ironic that you would kill the man capable of helping you. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> Well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. Started? We've had enough of a warm-up act, yeah? Time to hear from the witness. Walkie sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? Who the fuck? What? Uh, Who the fuck? What the what? hell is that? What? Uh, just, just wait. So, you will tell us your name and occupation. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why the long face? Horse on no. the face? I mean, uh... no way! Oh shit! Now. Should I be this guy? Like, because I'm here, or what am I here for? Well, his name is literally Wes. So I, I feel like it'd be insane to not have it be Wes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, this is a Wes moment. My name is Wesley Stickler. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> By occupation, I take oh, it to profit society at large and supports the livelihood under which definition I must confess to being unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to this notion of occupation. And once we have accepted this reality, we see that our confusion is not guest told, but <laughs> derives from the vagueness inherent in all representations of thought. By which he means to say that he is a student. That's awesome! That was good. That was really the good. fact that it took away control from you for that is incredible. Yeah, they, they do that every now and then. It's It's really fun. That one was also readable compared to some of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Some of the other ones go so fucking fast. Stalt. <laughs> what a jackass. <laughs> in a Petersonian sense. Before before we forget. In a Peter, yes, in a Petersonian sense. I do want to look at 
this. Check up from two metallic objects doing, on your heart. Taking that guy and sticking the fucking, uh, I've been thinking about why so many Radic left participate in speedrunning, like, text. Oh, that's incredible. really good. Also, what do, what do you think this guy's uh, Roman Empire is? A junior at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. Ivy University, University returns! Lazy ass name. Yes, in the Department of Science and Engineering. Filled with curiosity for all things, I spend my days in pursuit of, no of the truth, honing my... Hestickler, please direct said curiosity to the case at hand today. Hestickler, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Mr. Stickler. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the night of the crime. You ask, quite simplistically, what oh, I saw. Okay. Understand that Homo sapiens possess two <laughs> eyes. They're designed to receive and interpret data, sending images in the form of sound. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank Why you. is fucking faded to black on They us? just instantly <laughs> thank went you, to Ace the testimony. God. Damn, stick on what that mouth do, though. <laughs> Look at those lips. Oh. God. Those, those lashes? Are, those are, Mm -hmm. Those are Beautiful some lashes. Those are some fingerprint dust blowing lips. <laughs> <laughs> this guy couldn't Gregorian chant like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> uh, all right, night in the park. That night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping. When I saw them, one man pulling a stand, another man facing him. I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. He was doing a jack move. <laughs> In Everyone's his hand, doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> In his hand, he held All what? the college. In his hand, he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A shot. The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead. Hmm. Was there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say with 100% accuracy I love that, animation. that there was not. The pistol our witness refers to is this. Hey, it's an actual modern looking pistol for once. <laughs> yeah! A like very small the handle though. The court accepts this into evidence. Yeah, that actually is an almost <laughs> impossibly small handle. Yeah, it's very <laughs> tiny. It has three bullets in the clip. <laughs> ah, it's Pistol Junior. <laughs> Pistols for kids! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I mean, look, 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 look. They do have, like, women's branded handguns no, that are yeah. crazy oh, small. True, he's right. Yep. And that and does you know, kind of look camo. like that. I hate the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was their pink camo and they have like curse of script and says like moms can shoot too. Oh. <laughs> Live, oh, laugh, God. lock and load. <laughs> Damn, oh, that's good. Wow, you should actually Yo, sell Chris, that. I guarantee you, you that's could get actually, the NRA yeah, to sell that for you. I could, I could put that on Etsy yeah. right now and make so much money. Like you wouldn't wow. believe. Live, oh, laugh, man. lock and load is a, conservative is so moms good. would just go nuts. Uh -huh. <laughs> great gifts for conservative moms <laughs> very well uh, Mr. Justice you may cross examine the witness this is a bad time to plug our Etsy store but uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great time to plug our Etsy store <laughs> where you can get savings slash 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 stickers yeah. <laughs> yes your honor uh Trucy why are you staring at like that at the witness that man kind of looks like a total goober. He does look like Might a be a total goober. Uh, I think you belong in that courtroom. <laughs> Weenie Hut courtroom? I can't help but feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Hmm? Um, I'm... 90% sure I picked up on what was the lie in this statement. Yeah, it was to the right temple that he got shot. Ooh, not the front. And now, of the and now this guy's about to get got. Ah! 
jacked him. Yeah, oh, yeah, pulling square, square in the forehead. forehead. Jacking occurred. Objection! <laughs> <clears throat> Whew. If that's all of it, I think I have a chance. Is that you relaxing, I see, Herr Justice? Huh? Oh, uh... <clears throat> Objection! Once is quite enough, Mr. Justice! I do like the idea that he s he yelled objection and then just like... Oh, Took a second. Like, oh, okay. Objection again! <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, pace yourself. This trial's not over yet. Uh, uh, right. <clears throat> um, look at this! The autopsy report? Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Um... Don't tell me it needs to be updated. No, no, no. Right, a, a problem. Yes, the problem is the location of the entry wound. The location? You testified that the killer shot the victim, quote, square in the forehead, did you not? Uh, I have already determined your angle of inquiry. <laughs> Allow me to explain. It oh, is quite Christ. simple. First, understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical absolute. What I do mean by this, for example, the defection of a meter is what is oh, the God. wavelength of the light emitted by a krypton Ooh, particle. Ooh, krypton! Know. In what? addition, it is a well-known fact that krypton particles are red and visible to the naked eye, which points to the very basic fallacy in our line of reasoning, namely that... Mr. Justice. Please kill that man. Yes. <laughs> Was your objection to these, uh... Krypton particle things? Yes, we've got to kill Superman. I'm against them, personally. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big time, and you're obsessed with something so small? You disappoint me. No, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, uh... <laughs> damn it. <laughs> These fucking games, no. <laughs> I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. Do tell. Just, fuck me, just look at this autopsy report! The location of the entry wound was the right temple! Temple? I'm not religious. Mr. <laughs> Stickler, you said Yes, quite you're clearly, right, my body is a temple. <laughs> you said that the victim was shot, quote, square in the forehead. That's a contradiction. Uh, it, it, isn't it? It is, right? Final. God, I love contradictions. <laughs> Head Justice. Oh, Head Justice. Oh, Head Justice. Yes? Your tactics are outdated. Trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles? Surely you haven't forgotten the fatal wound your master suffered seven years ago? Phoenix Wright, was it? Surely you haven't forgotten the time I put your brother in jail. What was it? A week ago? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. It's so long ago. <laughs> Look. Wait, what did you do to my brother? <laughs> Wait, why is that why he hasn't been returning? Is that why he hasn't been returning my calls? <laughs> you won't come to any of my band practices. <laughs> Look, I, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to this testimony. Mirk. <laughs> Face. Weird. Face that like face is A plus. That face looks like it's in a fucking WarioWare mini game. It does. Wow. <laughs> wow. You got him. Hey, you have forehead. Forehead. Let us imagine you're walking through the park. You see two men facing each other. One with a pistol trained on the other. What would you do? Air forehead. I'd start jacking it. I mean, I'd do a jack move. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Well. <laughs> something, something gooning. I don't know. I, I guess I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout, Stop! And you, Fraulein? Me? Well, I get in front of it and catch the bullet in my teeth. <laughs> and spit it back. At yeah, them. then spit it back straight through their heart. <laughs> oh um, but I guess the more normal answer would be 
Well, I'd probably scream. Eek! <laughs> Eek! And you, Herr Stickler, what did you shout, I wonder? Uh, the victim turned his head at the last moment. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. It sounds like an addendum to the testimony is required. Oh, A Night in the Park 2. I like the sequel, but it wasn't as good as the first one. <laughs> Owen Wilson's great in that movie, you know, as the cowboy. Folks, that's a pretty good uh, cliffhanger ending. Again, yeah. if you're oh, watching really this... Quick. Before, before yeah. everybody goes... Uh, Friday, I'm doing a stream, and it's my first stream all by myself. So if you guys want to come, go to twitch.tv slash respectable. It's respectable with a W. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a YouTube channel that has the same name that you could subscribe to, too, if you wanted to. Yeah, that, like what people are posting in the chat. If you want to, you know, follow me or subscribe or whatever, oh, hell yeah, that'd be you. pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to be playing Super Mario RPG on Friday at 5 Eastern Standard Time. Leia with <laughs> Clavier Met. They are so homosexual. <laughs> yeah. Also, I love the, the fucking the motorcycle ride. Is yeah. Cool. <laughs> also, yeah, Apollo's little, little hair thing sticking out the side of the helmet. <laughs> uh, Levi with Clavier keychain and tarot card. Clavier looks like a little weird because the marker is reacted weirdly to the paper. Hey, listen. Yeah. Again. Super dope uh, with the key the keychain, and then yeah, the I don't know. It looks really good to me. I, I love the like the glitter background and everything, and the whole like. Yeah, um, I agree. I like it. The, the tarot um, the set you've been doing is great. The keychain thing you made uh, would easily be his keyblades, like charm that dangles from oh it. Oh my god, it would. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it oh, be be, it'd, be like, it'd be like a guitar keyblade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the power of the keyblade. Octon. Uh, Pinky with hello, hello. I'm busy with school, so here are a few drawings that I've recently done. One, you better not be yassified rockstar prosecutor when I get there. Me as fuck. That's so good. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, plushy concept art for the Ace Attorney 4 main cast. Probably will do Phoenix and Kristoff too once I have more free time. Yeah. <laughs> and sadly, this idea didn't come to me when y'all played the first case, so here you go now. <laughs> I swear it on my gavel. Please come out. I'm gay. I'm gay too. I also like men. You all like men? <laughs> Does anyone in this courtroom <laughs> like women? Vine boom. <laughs> Kaboinga. <laughs> no, uh, Kazooie. What is it? Kabooie? Oh, uh, Bazoi? 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 <laughs> yeah, and with Phoenix Wright hospital scene, take two, electric boogaloo. Very good. Apollo, I didn't expect to see you here. You called me. What happened anyway? I fell off a bridge. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Good one, Papa. How is that a joke? <laughs> you had to be there. Yeah, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't get it. Actually, I got hit by a car. What a weird family. Which reminds me, I've been meaning to ask, aren't you in your 30s? How is Trucy your daughter? Mr. Justice, what are you implying? That's personal, Apollo. Jeez. It's like you have no social awareness. Anyway, have you seen my <laughs> panties? They look like this. Oh my god, Trucy. <laughs> Don't worry, they're magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine if they're magic. It's so Trucy and the Bottle of got that uh, like angry uh, Gravity Falls face. <laughs> yeah, no, I love Yen's expressions. Yeah, it's really good. For what reason do you keep finding ways to end up in the hospital or in jail? The same reason I do anything, is that you'll pay attention to me. Hey guys, look, this is the episode where Steel Samurai says fuck! <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's Steel Samurai let's, Yeah, let's Steel Samurai say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's just giving them a 
Finger. Yeah, fuck you. It's so good. Because I saw that and I was like excited fuck for the you, comment. Evil to end magistrate. So I could like comment on it. But no, it, it plays into the joke. It's very good. Uh, Ham Ham with hello. I drew another Trucy a few weeks ago and I thought I'd show it today. Yeah. Aww, That's a really cutie. cute. Yeah. Tip of the hat to you. Adorable. Milady. Milady. <laughs> milady. Milady. <laughs> what truth to say, milady, cowards? Uh, uh, just random idiot with some buttons I made from someone's button maker on my campus. Trucy and Clavier were very rushed because they were made on a different day than Apollo, and it threatened to rain and ruin my buttons while I drew them. It ended up not raining, and I'm very upset I could have taken my time. No, these are super uh, cute, though. They're all so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the Apollo one. The expression is 10 he's out of 10. His, he's using his spidey sense. Uh huh. He's, he's trying to truth you. Mickey with uh, things me and Feeny have in common. 21. Sick. Eating things you're not supposed to. No, my sweater says, Were you like the Japanese version rather than the P? Because I prefer how it looks. I don't want to wear P that doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways. <laughs> oh, you, want to put on, you want to put on your P sweater? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, this is so good. Aw, uh -huh. I love it. Adorable. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mickey. Great great job again on the cosplay game. Killing it now. Yeah. Uh, Reaper, with since I did a watercolor drawing of the three main uh, characters a few weeks ago, uh, now we've but met both Clavier and Emma, I did a watercolor painting of them. Yeah. Ooh. Now, now yeah, let this looks great. Let Clavier say Dame Donne. i motherfucker. Dame Donne. <laughs> <laughs> Or, uh, what is it? Breaking's a law. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Judgment. Incredible. Judgment. Gia with Octong Baby. As somebody who's notorious for loving Clavi, I thought I should share many things and it have bonus meanings, but I won't ramble too much here. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. damn. He's got the whale tail going on. He do have a damn. whale tail. And a tramp stamp of his own yeah. insignia. Uh, Which is insignia. baller. Damn. What if, what if I got what if I got the save data logo as a tramp stand? <laughs> uh, no, Gia, this is incredible. Uh, I know that you you have been a long time Clavier simp, and I am excited to see more Clavier art from you. Because chains awesome. on the jeans too. I That's know. fashion. It's really good. It's real. It is fashion. June. With the last time I caught a stream was over a year ago, and back then I showed off my Gak Pearl design. So I thought I finally cut. So when I finally caught a stream last week, I decided I'd make one for Trucy, and then that got kind of out of hand. So here's Maya, Trucy, and adult Emma as gag characters. Wow. Oh, cool. oh, I love these designs. Oh, yeah. I fucking love the Emma one. The Emma's really good. Oh, wow. The Emma one's fucking rad. Yeah. These are They're all, all very so good, good, but the Emma dude. one is my favorite. Wow. Incredible. Emma, Emma looks like after this she has to beat Sherlock Holmes to like the investigation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Emma one looks like it could be official artwork for something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Blair with hello, I'm new here, so first time boasting art as well. Take a crisp off. Ooh, this is so good. I this missed out so on this tweet. Yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah. Like the light I blue love the highlights art style. and everything, the coloring. Got the weaving. Uh huh. Yeah. Really, really good. Hell yeah, Blair. Yeah. Welcome Thank you as well. So much. Uh, King Kieran with. So I've been on a common writer kick as of late, and I got a hit of inspiration watching last Ooh. week's episode related to it. Left the pixelating of Maractus to Marac. Uh, semicolon is. Colon is. Last week made me think of those English phrases in transfer the transformations used, so I made a generic spider monster using the phrase. <laughs> uh huh. Marac is on! <laughs> the doctor yeah. is in. The doctor is in. Uh, and right, having just watched Zero One, I realized Emma would make a fantastic common Rider, so I gave her a driver to transform with. And since mufflers are a signature common Rider feature, it just fits. Yeah. yeah. Henshin a go go, Hen baby! Henshin a go go, baby! God, so cool! Yeah, that's fucking Cyclone! Awesome. Joker! <laughs> Hell yeah, King Kira. Yeah. Uh, Mint Mango, with just a couple things now for this time, working on an animation show later. More little guys! Yeah! I, I love Ooh, this art style, man. It goes really Super really good. cute. Snack yeah. Nice. Get snackooed, idiot. Uh, and head cannon that Edgeworth chartered another private jet after hearing about Phoenix's disbarment, only to arrive to a new quirky girl assistant. Oh. He, had, he he can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep finding more quirky girl assistants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but he can. That's why you're wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, but he can. Literally. And he will. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Edgeworth. What's new? <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I, like, how many times is Phoenix going to have to answer the question, Wait, you have a daughter now? 
Uh, garbage heart with uh, nothing like a piping hot bowl of sodium poisoning after a trial. This is by no means finished yet, but I wanted to desperately get, wanted to get this in since I don't have any art for last stream. Hopefully, I'll have this done and colored by next time. Yeah, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> Apollo. I'm hates something it. of an artist myself. <laughs> They're all gathered around Ichiraku Ramen. I mean, Ed's Noodles. I mean, mm. whatever it's called. Ed's Ooh. Noodles. Eldoon. <laughs> Eldoon. Amazing. More like Eldoon. Eldoon's Noodles. You. Yo! A gnomes with a uh, walkie Chris talkie. <laughs> what <Yeah>. saving throw? <laughs> what saving throw? Yeah. Incredible. It's available in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Corona Wizard would finish up my sketches from the last stream. The layout was kind of weird, so I had to split it in two. Pick one. Phoenix gets to be the weird assistant girl for once. <laughs> now I'm the weird assistant. Want some Luminol? <laughs> <laughs> magic nation. Thank you. Thank you. You got that good on. Incredible. Oh my god. The, the troll droll Jeez. face. That's Ugh. got potential. That's, That's got edit potential right there, folks. That's, I hate it. <laughs> oh god, it's cursed. <laughs> Careful, Apollo. He was the booing guy all along. <gasps> no! Ooh. Since the beginning to- Oh shit, back, back in Van Zeke's day. <laughs> shit. He's been around this whole time. Wait, but, but, but he got younger, it looks like. <laughs> sort of time wizard. Don't worry about it. And we've got Phoenix is playing card with the boys, based on the dogs playing card painting. And Kristoff addresses Phoenix's intruder. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> All the famous and, card characters and dogs <laughs> and missile. In the <laughs> who is who is shadow person? I was gonna ask the same question. Who's yeah, like the card card just, Oh, it's the inscription. Dude. Oh, oh, oh shit! Wow. That's clever. Wow. Does, he have a, does he have a pipe? Yeah, he does. He does. Oh, yeah. What is his cool. name? I love him. Mr. Scription, I don't blame you. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, inscription. <laughs> Hi, inscription. Wow, this is so good. Fucking incredible. Also, that fucking missile is sliding an ace to you from Persona. Uh, Persona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, both, you, both, both cool, both good dogs. What, 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 mm -hmm. get, what, get at me. <laughs> Do you like Damn. my card? <laughs> Which of these weirdos took the fifth ace? <laughs> uh, enough. There is no third party. Based on what Mr. Wright says, it seems we have an intruder. How'd he get in? <laughs> in through the window? <laughs> in through the window? <laughs> More like in goon the window. <laughs> <laughs> More like gone with the window. Wait, what are we doing? Shut the fuck up, Apollo. <laughs> ah, there's the beans. <laughs> Incredible. Thank you.